Dmitry Shostakovich's Fourth Symphony is one of those ambitious, forward-looking works that punctuate musical history. Completed in 1936, it lay unperformed for a quarter of a century, the Western premiere, incidentally, given by the Philharmonia in 1962. The story behind the delay is a tale from the Alice in Wonderland world of socialist realism. As Shostakovich was writing the fourth, Stalin attended a performance of his opera Lady Macbeth of the Mitsensk district. The great leader sat in a box adjacent to the brass and percussion. Deafened by the noise, shocked by the opera's sex scenes, and unhappy with its references to the class politics of peasant society, he stormed out. Two days later, Pravda published an attack on Lady Macbeth, headlined Muggle instead of Music, with a chilling warning to its composer, this petty bourgeois formalist game may end very badly. Shostakovich's widow Irina told me that from that day forward he was looking over his shoulder. He'd become an enemy of the people. The conviction that his days were numbered never left him. It's terrible when an artist is persecuted, she said. My husband was always under pressure. He was like the little bird in the old Russian poem. They capture him and squeeze him by the throat, and then they tell him to sing. The fear of reoffending made Shostakovich withdraw the musically adventurous Fourth Symphony, with its somberly tragic ending that snubbed socialist realism's demand for joyful optimism. The Soviet media announced sneeringly that he'd accepted that his work suffered from the mania of grandiosity. Like the Fourth Symphony, Shostakovich's first violin concerto also had to wait for its premiere. He was writing it in 1948, when the culture commissar Andrei Shtanov unleashed a new witch hunt against musical independence. The campaign targeted bourgeois formalism in music, no one quite knew what formalism was, but it certainly included original thinking, anything but the simplest, most accessible and most tuneful compositions. Shostakovich, Prokofiev, Khachaturian and others faced a ban on the performance of their works, and the violin concerto wasn't heard until 1955, two years after Stalin's death. Its use of the fate motif from Beethoven's Fifth Symphony and the notes of Shostakovich's own musical signature make it sound like a liberation. 